Okay, so uh, when we say set, it refers to a container. When we say element, it refers to member. Alright, so uh, all sets are represented by capital letter. Uh, and this is how we note it. So an element, we represent by the E. When not element, we represent by E again, but with a stroke. And number of element means N. Uh, this is the set. So number of element in set S, we say is 5. So going back to the notes, uh, when we say set, we want to refer to... Uh, it's a collection of items, element that is well-defined and distinct. When we say well-defined, means it is specific. So it must be very particular, it must be very clear, not ambiguous. Uh, distinct means every element must be different. So it must be unique. So I cannot have an uh, element that appear many, many times. Okay, so A, A means can only appear one time. Okay, note that uh, all even numbers is 2N n is a real integer whole number n is not equal to zero uh, all odd number is 2n plus 1 so it means we can sub n inside uh, the answer is as follow check must the element be small letter it depends it depends good question so all the sets must be capital letter the element depends on the on the question so if the question gives you big letter you must write big letter if the question gives you small letter, you must write small letter. Understand? Now, so check your answer is something like that. Uh, usually, we will put C on top. C is uh, the, the ascending order part. Now, can you help me write something? T equals to A, C, E, H. Da, 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 da. Is this right or wrong? Is this right or wrong? How many of you think it's right? Wrong? The second one? The second one is right or wrong? Wrong, huh? It is wrong. Now, the reason why it's wrong is because the big letter and the small letter is different. It's different element. Okay, good question. If I have two letters, big and small, do I write both? Yes. So I can have uh, elements that is something like that. Uh, T equals to A and A like that. Uh, this is correct. If the question choose to change all this into random capital and small letter, it's okay to write A A. So element, it must be distinct, it must be well specified. Then it can belong to a set. Okay, stop. So to summarize, uh, these three sets are the same. To summarize, these three sets are the same. So we say that they have the same element. Uh, less than 10 means don't include 10. And uh, note, note that this way of writing is important. Uh, this means x. The definition of x is this. Uh, for the next question, the answer is no because d has an extra element. So remember to write down, inclusive means it includes. So check that you have these words. If two sets are equal, this is how we write. If it's empty, there is no element, and this is how we write. We either write the set is empty, or we write down the set, and we say that there is no element inside. It's not called a noun set. So this is the answer, check. Set notation means everything here. Uh, homework, when do you hand in? Next year. Next year, what? When is it? Uh, Next year, 20th March. Okay. Uh, another way to represent a set is by Venn diagram. Very good. Okay, then. Louder so that you can repeat. A Venn diagram is represented by a rectangle. Very good. Uh, epsilon, epsilon very set, good. and a circle. Very good. <coughs> this is what we call a universal set. And the universal set is the title of the set. Uh. Okay. Then. You want to talk about element set? Eh?
Hey, it's represented by a circle. A is represented by a circle, which means the element inside is inside the circle. Then point is here, that's circle. Circle. So one two three is inside A, right? So one two three. One two three is inside A. So what about four and five? Four and five is outside the circle because it is not an element of A. So Very we good. put it outside here. Very good. So the official way is called <coughs> the official way is called the complement of set A. So it's over here. Uh A complement equal to this. Thing. On page one, all the word, all the things about numbers, you can throw away. And now, start. Highlight, uh, highlight the words. All the features are negative, neutral, or and positive. Zero is neutral and even. Not, eh, not, not odd. Yeah. Even number can be expressed as 2n, n is an integer, not a fraction. So n can be negative 2, 0, 2, or 10. Um, an odd number is expressed as 2n plus 1. So if you sub in uh, a number like let's say 0, it will still be an odd number. Good. A perfect square n is expressed as n square. Um, n cannot be. 0 square cannot. n cannot be. n cannot be equals to zero. Good. A natural number is an integer that is more than or equal to one. It so cannot be a zero number. or less than zero. So the smallest number the smallest number is one. Uh, rational, rational number is a number that can be expressed as a fraction. So half uh, whole number like three. A whole number like three also can be expressed because it's three over one. And a recurring number can also be expressed as a rational Fraction. number. Uh, yeah. Irrational yeah. number is a number that cannot be expressed as a fraction. So example, example would be pi. Square root. Square root. Um, numbers, right? Square root numbers. How about square root 4? Square root 4. Oh, square root 4 can be... What is square root 4? Wow. What, what rational. Number is Yes. It is rational number if also a is it a rational number? Two. Yes. Uh, is it perfect square? Yes. Uh, no. Is it odd number? Is it even number? Yes. Uh. Is it integer? No. So you need to know the numbers, what are the numbers for? Now, the last one. Thank you. Alright, clap, clap. Because one can be divided. By one number only. Now, the definition of prime number is it must be able to be divided by two different number. Two. You you want to know that one is not a prime number. Okay, important. This time. All right. Check that the answer are as follows. How do I stop the recording? Okay. Okay. How do I stop the recording? Alright, check that the, rep the, 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 the answers are as follows. And check for the presentation of uh, this. So you're going to tell me the left hand side is what number, the right hand side is what number, and therefore since these two numbers are the same, the statement is correct. Uh, check, check that the first one is uh, false. The correct one on uh, Imamu. The set, uh, correct one should be B is a proper subset of A. Uh, the second one is true. The third one is false. And the last one is what? Uh, true. Uh, it's true. Okay. And things to take note, uh, smaller set will be a proper subset of the bigger set. Provided that all the element is here, is inside here. And also important, the star cannot be equal to the apple. Uh, come to this. Come to this. Uh, if D is empty, we say that D is a proper subset of B. Empty set is a proper subset of B. Uh, X is not a proper subset of B. Uh. It's not a proper subset of B. Because X itself is called element that is different. Uh, check the two answers. I have proper subset of S and proper subset of T. Okay.
Okay, we learned two things. We learned that uh, intersection means it must be common. Uh, so we call intersection overlap. So these two numbers are intersection or overlap. Uh, it's represented by this symbol, like look like an N. Uh, it has the meaning of intersect, overlap, and uh, it has the meaning of both must have or contain. Therefore, the two elements will be 3 and 5. For union, uh, similarly, and no, differently, no, they are different. Huh? So for union, we are looking at a combined area. We are looking about everything inside here. So therefore, it will be all the way from 1 to 7. How do you represent? We represent by U. Uh, this is all the element. It means union, it means all, it means either all, it means everything. Check the answer of uh, C and D. Now, whenever you do sets, it's important that you write down the set. The elements, list down the element. Uh, lastly, you draw a Venn diagram that is only three different types. Either they are all separate, they, are, they have some intersection area, or one is inside the other. Check the answer.